Well, evening guys. Anyone who watches my video a lot will notice that uh, I've changed lake. I can't, uh, can't keep away from this one. It's opened on the uh, 16th of June. I've done a few little, uh, little uh, margin snaggy sessions in here. I just can't not do a night. Look at that, it's looking absolutely uh, stunning out there tonight. Uh, if you look up the margins up there, that is, that is the tree line bank that I actually fish when I'm uh, out here doing my uh, margin sessions. And this is the rest of the lake. I've basically come to uh, one of the swims I love the most. Thinking this is the uh, best option and the best place to uh, start on here for uh, this year. I'm not going to do it much, I've just got to get this one out of my system fishing on here. I have got one up that bank. It's about 30 40 foot off the trees because you need to be if you want to stand a chance of uh, getting it in. And the other one is in my favourite little spot. In that corner there, which I absolutely love. Can't help myself from fishing. They're not always in there, but I do frequent there quite a lot. Um, the only other spot I quite fancied, though the wind's blowing, unfortunately was occupied. So there's only basically a service on the lake, which is fantastic. What more can you say on a uh, a Monday night? It's unusual. I don't normally fish Monday nights. I come to the conclusion that uh, the weather's breaking tonight. Yeah, a little bit of rain. I can't actually uh, fish Tuesday and Wednesday night this week. Got uh, stuff on at the school and things, so I'll make use of your time correctly and just give it a go. And I thought, well, let's just have a go on here. I nearly carried on down to the other lake, but I thought, nope, we'll take a drive around here, have a look. If it's quite empty, we shall uh, give it a play. As you can see, I'm fishing uh, very much on top of my rods. <laughs> see my feet sticking out there. Uh, if, I, if I lay down now, there you go. This is not like the weighing down on the bed chair effect. So, there you go. Feet, rods, bed chair. Got to be close in here. Left hand rod especially. Right hand rod, not too bad. They tend to come out of there quite easily. Whereas the left hand rod, they head, tend to dive straight the trees as quick as possible. So I need to be uh, on my toes here. Just to have a go. I haven't put a lot of bait out. I don't really know when anyone's here at the weekend or anything at all. So I've just two bags on. Quite big bags. Mixture of pellet and boilies. Chuck them out. Once it gets a bit dusky and the seagulls have got bored, I'm going to stick a couple of catapults out. Not much over each spot because I've only assumed someone was probably in here at the weekend if they were they probably hammered it with bait and with the way the weather was it's probably not the thing to be doing so we're going to take it uh, slow and easy see how we go I can always add bait during the night as we go through if I start catching fish uh, one thing I must remember is the bream in here it's something you forget about on the airfield lake there is no bream on here. There's a absolute phenomenal amount of bream. We are slowly getting rid of them, but uh, there's still quite a lot in here. We'll get there in the end. But there you go. Let's see what tonight brings and uh, where we go from there, really. All right, catch up with you soon. Thank you for watching us and all. Hope you enjoy it. I'll leave you with that view, I think. That's the view I quite like. Well, good morning. It's the uh, morning update. And uh, not a touch, unfortunately. Few liners, few fish cracking. 
incredibly close to where my spots are, but it's clearly they're not going to pick up hook baits, which is a surprise to say the least. And a bit of a shock. However, it's just one of those things. Near enough packing up time now. Just have to see how we get on, really. A bit of a, a rough night. I don't know if you can see, but the uh, whole lake's been invaded by Canadian geese. And it's uh, uh, a bit of a noise, you understand, at least. But these things happen. It did mean I was awake for a fair bit. So you gave me an opportunity to just lie here looking and watching and listening to the lake and actually realising how close some of these fish were to my baits. Which then in turn made me not really want to go to sleep, just waiting there for the rod to go off. Which obviously never happened either. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, a bit of a surprise. And it's part of carp fishing. Come along, we learn. We see what happens. We observe. And we uh, take note, hopefully, for the next time. I'm back. I've got to go home and do the kids. Get them off of school. And I've got the day free. So I'm going to come back and do the day. Probably in my uh, little margin swim. Not 100% sure yet. I can't really make out what the weather forecast's up to. At some point, it is actually supposed to rain quite heavily and considerably. As yet, we haven't had any. So it's got to be somewhere. I'll have, have a look at the rain radars and other maps and things and try and work out exactly what's going on. See where we end up. A few hours today. It's got to be worth a go, I think. Conditions are pretty reasonable. Part of me tells me to come back and stick a bait, a couple of baits in here. Part of me says go on the margin spot. Just have to see. I don't really fancy to get that absolute dousing in the margin zoom because you can't really get a brolly in there or anything at all. And, uh, I don't know about here. I don't have a fisher here, I've just got to get the the right spots. It's definitely worth a play. So we'll put some thoughts into it on the way home and see how we get on. You never know, I've still got about 10-15 minutes left. It's always possible to bag one before I go. Anyway, I need to uh, sign off now and catch up with you all soon. I do have to get home. Get these rods in and get this kit down and everything. So, I'll see you later, folks. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching as normal. And, uh, don't forget to check out my website, comment on the videos, subscribe, and, uh, we'll catch up soon. Good luck, folks.